Hi, thank you for tuning in. My name is Bharadwaj and I'm part of Analytics Center of Excellence team here at Salesforce. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create the right fields and how to format them. So this video is part of 2018 summer release of Einstein Analytics. And so let's dive right in. So first of all, uh, choose the data set on which you want to create the derived field. Open the data set. This will open the data set as a lens. And on the left side, you see a button called fields. Clicking on it uh, will list you all the available fields in that particular uh, data set. And scrolling all the way down uh, will show you the option add derived measure and clicking on it uh, will let you input the name of the API of the derived measure that you are going to create. I'm going to name it amount underscore INR. Click done. So this uh, field is essentially going to store the format for Indian currency that we will later on be using in this video. So we'll go to number format and then custom format and I'm going to choose this particular format. Uh, the formats that you see here are the formats that are supported by Salesforce right now. Uh, but I want to customize it further. So I want to add a little um, Indian currency symbol in front of the number. So I have added that over here. I'm clicking done and then save. So I'm closing this window. Now let's go to values table and click on this little edit button over here. Now I'm going to choose account name and US dollars. Now switch back to SQL step just to see how the formatting has turned out. I will copy this particular code and add the conversion factor to convert US dollars into Indian currency which is 68 right now and change the name of the field to amount underscore INR and hit run query. So here you'll see two uh, measures being created one for US dollar and one for amount underscore INR which is Indian currency. You see the formatting as well which is different for each of these. Uh, this has got dollar symbol and this has got uh, Indian currency symbol. Uh, so we won't be needing a uh, US dollar amount in this field in this video so we would be taking that out. We'll run the query again. So we see Indian currency being reflected here. Now let's switch back to visualization. You will see the format being applied to the visualization here. So this is how you work with uh, derived fields in summer 2018 of Einstein Analytics. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.